how to sharpen your mind when you are depressed. Now, a lot of times, if you're depressed, it's just you not being really here in the moment. And in this day and age, it's very easy to be depressed, especially if you made some mistakes in the past. You know, a lot of these things that you do beforehand will catch up to you. It will, okay? It's a way to get over these things. Your past mistakes, blah de blah your sadness, it always comes down to being present in the moment. And as I mentioned before in the previous video, you gotta live a warrior lifestyle. For me, if you're like me, okay? I was an ex-fighter. I haven't fought in the ring for like 10 years now, okay? But the things I've picked up as an amateur mixed martial artist and a boxer from a young age really helped me to steer my life back on track now as a young adult, uh, a little older adult, okay? I'm in my 30s. So... To sharpen your mind when you're depressed really comes back down to bringing yourself back to the present okay it's really hard to push forward and be happy about anything when you're too busy lollygagging about what you did in the past or you're just constantly thinking about the future as a fighter the only way I was able to become good at what I did was I had to be present in the moment. When I was training with my team, I was there. I wasn't thinking about anything else. I was just learning the techniques, drilling it during conditioning. Same thing. I wasn't wandering off about what I'm going to do tonight, this and that. The cardio I gained, the skills that I got. If you're from my TikTok, you kind of see the shadow boxing videos. Like, I don't want to toot my own horn, but things are there. In order for me to gain these things, I had to be fully present at what I was doing in the moment. So same thing for you. If you've kind of lost your way, you're a little sad, you know, you're a little older, you're like my age 30, and you're constantly just sad and just unhopeful about things. You got to bring yourself back to the present moment. You got to set some things in place. I wouldn't say distract you, but it's going to keep your mind focused. Now, the things that you got to do have to build you. So training, get back into some kind of training. I love to do boxing training because it's something that I can do with nothing. I can do shadow boxing. Literally, I don't need anything, okay? There was a time when I would just do burpees and push-ups. But even that, like, I'm not a big guy. I'm like 5'7", 180 at the heaviest, okay? When I was doing just push-ups to kind of clear my mind, dude, I was doing like 2,000 push-ups a day. And I was like, dude, this is like never ending. It seems crazy, but when, you, when you're sad, you're depressed, you have heartache, 2,000 push-ups is not hard, especially if you just... I was working a full-time job. Once you clear your schedule, bro, you got all the time in the world to be sad and depressed. I would just put headphones on and just bang it out. So the boxing training, getting back to my fight training, really helped to air everything out. Like, I'm exhausted, okay? And through the training and just focusing on just bettering my skill, keeping my skills sharp, really brought my brain back to being present in the moment now to sharpen your mind while you're depressed understand now you got the training instead of trying to add more things okay so there's training you see some guys with self-improvement they tell you okay you got to create a routine this that 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 sometimes you're at the point where you have too much shit on your plate so you got to draw back a little bit okay Add in a little workout, maybe like a half an hour workout, maybe some meditation, 10 minutes. So that's going to be like 40 minutes you're adding towards your day. What you want to do is cut back on other things. Don't scroll so much on social media. Dude, if you play games and you're depressed, throw the games out. If you're watching, if you're binge watching uh, TV shows, throw that out. If you find yourself sitting down thinking about things, being depressed, you got to cut that out, dude training okay now when you cut things out 
Look at your life around you. Your physical space is going to be an exact representation. Oh, my son. It's going to be an exact representation of what's going on in your mind. Okay? So if you're a little cluttered, I can guarantee if I look around in your house, dude, it, there's going to be clutter everywhere. If you're not really taking care of yourself, it'll be completely evident. Clean up. Once you get everything cleaned and organized, start looking at stuff and just get rid of things that you no longer use. Okay, there's little spiritual laws that I can get into further as we take this trip down YouTube. But they call it the law of use. Whatever you don't use ends up becoming a burden. And this is what you see with hoarders. They, they collect a lot of things emotionally. And throughout the years of just being emotionally attached to these material things, things just build up and build up. They don't want to throw it away. Next thing you know, they're buried in just crap over the years and it's hard for them to let it go because emotionally they got attached to it now everything you own ends up owning you so as the path of the warrior dude the only thing you can do is train and as i mentioned in the previous video three things that i broke it down to for me was one training two kindness three service you can do it whichever way this is gonna take care of everything mind body soul so your training is mind body okay service that's gonna be for your soul dude when you serve other people it feels good to serve other people you know you you kind of stop thinking about yourself for a bit so service kindness you train all this hard you know i i, I push it i push myself some things I could push a little harder, of course. It's just a daily progression. But when you push hard in training, you really just end up having empathy for other people. You know, you, you, you tend to have compassion. You kind of step out of the gym or wherever you're training and you're kind of just happy, dude. You're just exhausted, basically. And this is what you want to do. Now, back to sharpening your mind. These videos, I'm just going to rant, dude. I don't want to make it edited. I'm just going to speak straight from my heart and try to help you as best as I can because the, this is what I needed. There's a lot of self-improvement stuff out there. A lot of guys, these gurus talking about um, self-improvement, how to get out of depression. Now, there was me. All of these videos helped, but a lot of them never experienced what I experienced. Yes, I had heartache. Yes, I had some trauma as a child. But on top of that, I fought in the cage as an amateur mma fighter dude that's like violence to the tip top of the mountain like i trained to hurt another person in the ring in front of his family okay so when all that is done the glory days is gone what do you do now and this is what i'm trying to help you with i needed this message a dude who's seen this type of violence went through some kind of depression, got lost, lost his glory days, and regained his mind back. So, to sharpen your mind when you're depressed, like I said, you got to do some kind of training, do some kind of reading and meditation, cut out all the other distractions in your day, start to clean up everything, be kind to others, serve others. Now, to keep your mind sharp, as a warrior, everything that you're doing in the moment, you got to focus, double down focus on it. When you're washing the dishes, you got to focus on washing it as best as you can. As best as you can. If you want to be a champion, again, in your life, a champion of heart, champion of mind, champion of body. When you're washing the dishes, wash it like the champ. When you're folding your blanket, do it like the champ. Do it like the best of the best. The best of the best out there. When you're vacuuming, make sure you vacuum spick and span. No half assing. Okay? When you're eating, turn everything off, dude. And just eat. When you're talking with someone, stop being so distracted. Be there. Okay? Everything that you're doing, have the mindset that you are the champ at doing it. And you're the best at doing it. And this is how you sharpen your mind. This is how you regain your mind. This is how was, I was able to regain back my mind. There's a lot of self-improvement techniques that help you do this, help you with productivity. A lot of it stems from your mindset and your mental health. To rearrange your mindset, 
you got to rearrange it on the little things that you're already doing. A lot of times, you know, some guys that are out there, they do the lifting, they eat better, but yet when they're doing their mundane task, everything starts flooding back. Oh, I was thinking about this, thinking about that. Oh, I'm sad. You start to get angry again. Then you start to want to hurt people doing this, doing that, start sabotaging yourself. During these little mon mundane tasks, washing the dishes, doing laundry, folding your bed, taking out the dogs, taking care of your kids. I got kids. I got a dog. Washing the car, vacuuming. Those are the times when you sharpen your mind. When you're depressed, a lot of times when you're doing these mundane tasks, your mind is slipping away. As a warrior, these little tasks is what's going to set you up to have better skill, to be better in shape, to have more muscle. Anything that you're pursuing, dude, these little tasks will help you become better at whatever you're trying to improve at. Like they say, what is that quote? having a mind fart the way you do one thing is the way you do everything okay i don't want to call people out i mean literally you know i was uh after fighting i opened up a strength and conditioning gym to kind of keep me close to fighting and i could see a lot of people who are overweight depressed dude they would you know they bring their cars i look inside their car and their car is a direct representation of what's going on with them my son everything around you your immediate living space your car dude it's all a representation of you and your mind state so when you're washing your car when you're in your car dude clean it you wonder why you're so depressed because you got shit all over the place okay you wonder why you can't level up it's because dude you're letting other things in your life slack there's dishes piling up there's dust on the walls your sheets stink you know what i'm saying Right now, I'm in the progress of growing my mustache. So don't try to get me on my hygiene. <laughs> so, to sharpen your mind while you're depressed is to catch yourself in every moment of your life. Once you wake up, dude, you gotta just, every task that you're doing, just be focused on it. Now, if you got some things that you gotta take care of, create a plan and follow it step by step by step. Don't deviate from it. All right, that's another video. But for now, you got to catch your mind. When, once it starts wandering off, you got to catch it. Your mind wanders off a lot. My mind wanders off a lot when I'm doing mundane things like washing the dishes, watching my son, okay? Like just cleaning, just overall cleaning, driving someplace. Sometimes I'm driving, I could see something. I could think about something bad. During these times, you got to catch your mind. And you got to remember, I'm the champ. I'm the best of the best. I do everything with complete and extreme focus. And that's why I'm the best at what I do. <laughs> so this is how you catch your mind. And like I said, I'll be making more of these videos. And uh, it's going to be unedited. I just want to speak from my heart and just do my best to transfer what I've learned internally from fighting, from training, from body weight training, from everything that has helped to improve my life. So that way I have confidence and pride in me. And I'm not walking around sad, you know, all of my relationships are better. I have better interactions with people. A lot of stupid shit that happens outside on the street, I'm not really phased by it because I put a lot of investment in self. Sometimes you gotta be selfish. When you're in the dumps, it's really hard to help people out and change the world when you're just half of you. You got to spend a lot of time improving yourself, especially your mindset, catching your mind when it starts to slip off. All right. So again, to sharpen your mind while you're in a depression, when you're doing these mundane tasks, bring your mind back into the present moment and do whatever you're doing to the best of your abilities. All right. And always remember, be the energy you want to receive. Watch your life dramatically change until next time. Let's go.